Here we go. Hey guys, this is Tiazza in Roblox Studio again. Just thought I'd show you what I've been working on. You know my uh, screen printer that I made a while ago? I've uh, developed it into a little message ticker kind of thing. At the moment I'm using this font map which is, uh, which is what I made in Photoshop and then just ported it in like uh, exactly like how my printer works. It's within a uh, a module script it's all in hex and things well I'll show you what I've done with it if I change the code just slightly uh, what do I need to comment now let's comment that out spare me a few secs while I do this and I'll talk you through the actual coding it's actually quite complex <laughs> here we go Right, let's change that message. There we go. Yeah, so, oh, I didn't spell out right properly. There we go. Yeah, so basically what I've done is taken that font map, mapped it in, in code, and then worked out what, where the bits, bits and pieces are in that code. Like, uh, Let's have a look. Go, go away, Brittany. This is the thing that I uh, made in Photoshop. So I've literally just mapped out every single character in code. So then I can make a little thing like a little ticker. You can change the background color if you wanted to on the fly. Like so. Make it transparent if you want to. Uh, you can change the message as you saw change the for color or the text color at the moment this is the only font and as you can see it is slightly laggy that's because i'm making every single uh every single pixel because the way i've done it is exactly like my screen printer but instead of printing out the whole picture i'm just cutting it up kind of thing so yeah <laughs> and the way I got it scrolling is I'm using I've got about five I think 16 displays there and it's just passing the data along the, the displays like let's have a look we've got one two three four five six seven eight etc etc all the way along so yeah the code behind it you have to excuse the messy part of it so I'm sort of taking the picture data itself which is that there which is that module script then I'm recording the if the user changes the background transparency set that to true or false background color which is that and text color and I think the message should, should be up there I think I've put, got it further down then I recall the width and height. I don't know why I do that. I suppose that's for that uh, that little little starting part that I've done. That little bit. I don't actually use the width and height of the actual picture because we're only cutting we're cutting it up sort of thing. Then what I do then is of course use use that old internal function. Oh, I stopped a bit. I've missed a bit even. This table here is how I cut it up. It's like uh, we got space, which is square one on the x, square one on the y. If you go to our image, there we go, one and one. Then we got uh, it exclamation mark x two y one, which is correct. So if I change them, I'll get a different character and that's for every single character on the uh, on the keyboard on the standard keyboard 
the numbers there if you don't recognize them they are the uh, text number I think it's the ASCII number that Roblox and normal computers use so I've just referenced them rather than doing this I just made a comment what they are by the side then yep that just converts it to color 3 from a hex that's all that does after that I draw out uh, let's have a look what we do here yeah so I take the data which is the picture and split it up to how how it should go like we got uh, 200 this picture is 256 by 256 no 256 by 95 96 sorry I divide that by how many uh, sections there is and let's have a look and then put it into a little array that's the first part of actually splitting up the the picture then I convert each of the pixels to a color RGB from hex which is from that function you saw up above that color this thing and split up each of the uh, pixel so it's into a little pixel array with X and Y or in this case Y and X then after that I convert it into the actual tiles where the fonts are minus the border which is what you see there and that's the actual map I create on the fly so then I can know where each part is and then after that I create the channels which is with these frames here which is the actual display kind of thing and then all I'll do then is just sort out uh, what displays where and just move it along that's it <laughs> that's what exactly what that, this little bit of code does yeah so the way I'm converting the message into a number value is string byte if you if you uh, pass if you do something like that would return 32 so that's the way I'm talking to that array up here or table should I say so I'm calling that and that would be space the reason why I've sort of designed this or built this I've actually done this when I was tired more than anything it's been a couple of days since I've done it and <laughs> I'm quite uh, amazed how I did it I just sat there and coded it yawning away <laughs> so yeah if you guys want to want me to release this then let me know and I'll be happy to oblige I'll be able to put it on free models or something what I was actually thinking about making this into is making a let's just say this is a display of a music player or hi-fi system kind of thing we size the size down a bit mind you oh don't want that so you'll be able to resize it down put buttons around it then you could have I don't know playing I don't know uh, something like that <laughs> on the display while, while the music is playing in the background kind of thing so yeah I just thought I'd throw this out here and of course we've got a default setting when there's no message on there let's actually change that background colour and text to black let's actually make it transparent why not there we go 
So yeah, I thought I should show you guys what I've been working on. I've been, I think the other reason why I've designed this is trying to get myself back into coding again because I've been away for about a month from coding officially. Anyway, this is being together in Roblox Studio and I'll catch you guys later. Together, signing out.